Hello and welcome back to the making of the quest for the eye. In today's video I'm going to show you how to make the main menu. So first of all I've got a main menu set up here. This is just a new scene, completely blank scene. I've left the camera and the lighting in. and I've also imported two images which I've set to sprite 2D and UI. That's very important for later on. So the first thing we're going to need is to go to right click and in UI or you can go up to game object and go that way but it's always easier. So UI up to image. So with the image now in this creates a canvas and the image layer which is going to be called the background. So I'm just going to call that back GD. So we know what that is. And in the source sprite, I'm going to go ahead and bring in my little image here. I'm going to set some native size. And I want 1920 by 1080. So under here, we're going to go to can so canvas, canvas scalar, scale with screen size. And as you can see, it's way too big. So we want 1920, first one, and then 1080. So that gives us that nice bit here. So it's looking pretty good. So I'm going back into here, and I'm going to set. And then I'm going to make sure that these are zeroed. So I'm just going to set them all to zero. So that our nice background image is dead in the center. So now that's done, what I want to do is go back onto canvas. I'm going to go ahead and right click UI again. And I'm going to go ahead and put in some text. Now I am using a plugin called Text Mesh Pro, which you can get from the Unity Asset Store. And it is free. So I'll just click on this. And this is going to be our play button. So you can see it's quite small. So I'm going to set this to 15. I'm going to call it play. All in capitals. Like so. And then I'm going to say it's the center and align it to center. So it's looking all good. The underlay, I've already got it set up. So I'm going to put one, minus one, zero, and probably around about there. This just so gives it a nice shadow. Also, what I want to do as well is I don't want it to stay white like this. So I'm going to go ahead and add a color gradient. So I'm going to go and tick that box. Now, I've already got a preset that I made off camera. So I'm going to drag that in there. And as you can see, I've got a nice little play button right there. So I'm going to go ahead and duplicate that twice. So this is going to be the options. So we've got options button. I'm just going to rename these as I go. And this is going to be the quit. And again, Wait in there. Might as well call that play as well, just so I know what button that is. So now we've got some nice buttons. I can go ahead and put them into place. So the play button I'm going to put up top. Options can kind of go there. And the quit button go down and underneath, like so. Gonna make sure the options button scale the options a little bit just so it fits. Perfect, that's the thing with this, you do have to make sure it fits. And I'm keeping them aligned to the center point, which is here. They're all central. Okay, so that's pretty much those more or less done. There's a few things we do need to do now. So I need to actually go ahead and make some buttons for these. 
So again, under the canvas, I'm going to right click again, UI, button. So this is our first button. And I'm going to go ahead and set it up. So I want to keep the color here white for now. Because you're going to see what I'm going to do in a bit. And under where it says button here, transactions, here we can set what you want to do. So I'm going to keep this white. But the first one is going to be zero alpha. That's on the normal color. So it's default see-through. When we come to highlight, I'm going to set this to about 75. Just so when we're hovering the mouse over it, it gives it that little bit of a glow. And on the press button, so when we actually press it, I'm going to set that to about 170. So when we press it, you get a nice white glow. So these are brilliant. So that's that done, and I'm going to duplicate that again and again. So I'm going to bring this up here. And I'm going to make sure that this green box now aligns with the play button. Don't worry about the text that's in there because we will get rid of that in a second. So again, this second one could come up here. Now I'm just going to line it up. So make sure we've lined them up. Perfect. And then for the final one down here. And again, just line it up. So they're all spot on. So the first one, I'm going to rename that as play. So I know that's the play button. And where it's got text, I'm going to delete that. And bring in my image. So what that's done, that's now made that into a button. Go ahead and do these others now. So we do it exactly the same way. And then finally the quit. So the quit button. Go into text. And then bring in this here. So now we have our buttons. So I'm just going to go ahead and save that. So if I go in and press play. As you can see, you get a nice little highlight over these buttons. So that's brilliant. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these in a container. So I'm going to, on the canvas, right click again, and I'm going to create an empty. And I'm going to call this main menu, like so. So main menu. And then with these buttons, I'm going to put those buttons inside the main menu. But first I need to scale it up a little bit. So I'm going to bring this out probably to about there, make it nice and big. Because we are going to go and go ahead and add a couple of more things to this. So it's nice and big now. Now we can move these in. If we'd done that before we moved those in, it would have gone horribly wrong and these buttons would have been huge. So I'm just going to move that whole thing over to the side there. So that's looking pretty good. Now I want to add in a couple more things to this. So first of all, you won't really see the highlight around these. And I could just leave it like that. Or I could add like a black square. But I do want to add another image anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and come to here. It's a UI image again. And I'm going to bring that right to the top. 
I'll make that a little bit bigger. And then line it up. Just make sure it's in the center. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to choose my thing here. So I've got a nice, so I've got my eye up here. So this is a nice menu. So it's looking like a nice little menu there. Making sure I've um, so there we are. So that's looking good. So again, now we can go back in it. As you can see, we've got a nice, very subtle. I think that works actually. I may move it over a little bit more. But that is working so far. I'm just going to move it over to about here, probably. Actually, no, I'll leave that where it is. Because now what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to duplicate this. And this is going to be our options menu. So I'm going to go ahead and change this and I'm going to put this as options. So this is our options menu. It's the same layout. But instead of the play button, so I'm going to get rid of the play button in a second. First I want the text from the options. So I'm going to get rid of that. And I'm going to get rid of the play button once I put in the options button in its place. And I'm going to make sure the main menu can't be seen. So now we have options up here and I'm going to put quit at the bottom. That will become our back button. Pop that in there. And change that to back. May reduce the size of that a little bit. I'm going to probably go about 13. But make it bold so we can see it. So that's looking fine. So the options button, that's fine there. May just increase the size just a little bit. So it just brings it just out here. So maybe 55. Again, bold it. So we've got options here. And that back button can go down the bottom. Let's rename it. And I'm going to put that just here. So I've got options, menu, and we have our main menu. So under the options, I'm going to go ahead and right click again, UI, and I'm going to go to slider. So we've got a nice little slider in here. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger just so we can see it. So here's our nice little slider. Good. So yeah, I'm liking that so far. So under the slider, where it's got the handle. So I don't actually want the handle on it. So let's get rid of the handle. Let's go to fill area, fill. And then using a little pipette here, I'm going to go ahead and choose that nice orangey color there. So none of these buttons will actually do, so this won't actually do anything, but eventually it will. So I'm just going to go ahead and duplicate where it says options. And I'm going to bring that down here. I'm going to call that volume. So eventually we, we can... Uh, Change the volume up and down, make it louder and such. Just so we, I know what that is. And I'm going to turn that down to 30. Because it doesn't need to be that big. So we've got a nice little volume now. I'm going to bring that across and down.
make sure that it's all set. That's looking good. And then I'm going to bring that over here. There we are. So we've got volume. So if I save this now, save the project, go ahead and press play. As you can see, we've got the op the the menu is a mess at the moment, but you can see we've got we've got the options and we've got the main one here. It's got the main menu and we've got an options menu. So we've got two menus, and we've got a background as well. So it's looking pretty good. So now we've done that, what I want to do is go ahead and create a script. And I'm going to apply the script directly to the main menu. As you can see, I've disabled the options menu for now. So I'm just going to go ahead in here and create C sharp script. And I'm going to call that main menu. So we've got a nice main menu script here. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to open that up. Just open up Visual Studio. And we have it here when it decides to load. Okay, brilliant. So to get rid of the start and the update. And then at the top here, I need to add in, because we're going to be using Unity's engine. And we're going to be using the scene manager, so dot scene. So scene management. I think I've spelled that correctly. So scene management just there. Okay, so scene management right there. Okay, now here I'm going to make a public void and I'm going to call it play game. Make sure I've got my brackets in and then I'm going to use the scene scene manager and load load scene and now I'm going to call the scene manager in here to get the active scene And I'm going to use the build index, which I've already set up. So build index. And it's going to go ahead and go plus one. Because so what that do that and move it to the next scene, which would be my play game. So now if I save this, so that's a nice little script. I'm going to go ahead and attach this script to my main menu. So I'm just going to add that to the main menu just here. And that's looking good. I'm going to come into my main menu and into my buttons. And for each of these buttons, I need to come down here to where it says on click. And then just put the plus icon. The object is going to be the main menu, which is going to be here. And the function is going to be hopefully in the main menu, we've got main menu, play game. So that's the play game. So what I do, that will launch the next scene. Brilliant. Uh, just show you quickly how I managed to get these things into the build settings. So go to file, build settings, and you see up here it says scenes in build 
I've got my main menu and Oak Grove, which is, they're the ones I've got. Uh, to add more, I just go add open scenes, but we'll do that later. But for now, we've got this here. So what we we'll do is on the options button, again on the click, I'm going to add here. I'm going to need two little functions for this. So that's how I did that. So now I'm going to go back into here and I'm going to create a, another public void. And this will be to hook up the quit button. So I'm just going to go ahead and put public and then void again. And I'm going to call this quit game. And then it's basically application dot quit. Then what that do? That will literally just exit out. But obviously, it won't show you that uh, inside the Unity editor. So that that's pretty much that for that script at the moment. Unless we want to add more to it. But for now, that's it. So now that's updated I've probably yeah spelled that wrong that's why there's a an error so public void save that and that error should go away once it's compiled brilliant so under the quit we go down again to the quit button here We'll find it. There it is here. Just going to add this again. Make a reference to the main menu and game object here. We don't seem to have a quit game some reason there should be a quick game here perhaps it didn't save correctly all right let's see if it finds it this time I've just uh, resaved it and now it's compiled and let's see if I can go back into the quit button it's under the on click Let's go main menu and there it is, quick game. So now that are exit out of the game, which is perfect. So I'm just going to save that and save the project. Now for the options button. Okay, so for the options button, we just go here. And then we want to, in the object, we're just going to go ahead and put into the, so the objects menu, options menu in here. Function, it's going to be uh, probably a ball, I think it is. So, game object, select ball. So, that'll be when it's active or not, and that just sets it there. So, just make sure that's enabled. And now we're going to add another function. Bring in our main menu, and this is going to be uh, another ball and I'm going to untick that. So basically what that does is as soon as you click options, it will enable the options menu and disable the main menu. And that's how that works. So we'll do the same for the back button. So we're going to come to the back button here. Add this here. So the back button so that'd be referenced to here and we're gonna set that to a ball we're gonna turn that on and then we turn this one off and that should do it 
So if we do a quick play, we'll go press options. So as you can see, we're now in the options menu. If we click back, we're back here. So that's that done. Obviously, uh, in the next video, I'm going to pad this the options menu out a little bit more and actually get these buttons working. But for now, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed and I shall see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.